Kearney County started out as a ranching community and uh, in the late 20s became a huge supplier of fine lumber to the nation. Changes to national forest policy at the national level undermined the ability to harvest and uh, the long-term 50-year contract at Edward Hines Lumber Company expired. Kearney County is probably the single most isolated community in the state of Oregon. We're 130 miles from anybody. Um, because of that, we have to rely on each other. We don't have tsunamis coming here. We do, could have earthquakes. A forest fire could take this entire town out and there's no way we could stop it. The ability to clean up our forests, to, to sustain what we love and why we live here, is a perfect fit for us. It's biomass all the way. Well, biomass technology works really well for burns because they're cold, so they have high heating bills. They are close to the woods and therefore very close to the raw materials that they can utilize to heat their buildings. And three, they are uh, culturally used to working with the forests around here, and so it's a technology that fits all three of those aspects. Every time there's a logging project, they have tons of logging slash, and they either burn it, um, put the smoke and the carbon into the air, or we have an opportunity to grind it up and bring it down here and use that. Had it been burned in a pile, it would have been a low temperature fire, producing a lot of smoke and particulates. Here, it's very clean. When we started this out, it was a school with a need. The county with a boiler that had just been condemned and we were told we could run it through one more winter, but then we had to figure out something different. So that, that started us sitting down together and talking and saying, could we share some costs some way? And as we got to talking, we, we realized that uh, the model that was most beneficial was a not-for-profit and then uh, the light bulb went on for all of us and we said this should be a co-op. Well, we couldn't have done this without public partners. We started the project with help from the Oregon Department of Forestry. Then we got a grant from the U.S. Forest Service for design and engineering. And from there, we were able to take those, those, the outputs of those two projects and essentially go get construction financing. And we got that through a foundation primarily, the Meyer Memorial Trust as well as a backing from the U.S. Endowment for Forestry and Communities, and then the community invested as well. We anticipate the cost being very predictable and being at that level, uh, or perhaps even slightly less, so very predictable cost of heat for the school system uh, for the next 25 to 50 years. This will give us the opportunity to have a massively more affordable heat. I'm talking 80% reduction. That's, that's like something out of the land of Oz. And that will make a huge difference in where that money goes for services, for employment, and for development.